Okay, so in this, uh, this is part two of a wee series of experiments on solubility. In this experiment, we're actually going to be carrying out a technique called chromatography. Um, not that, that you probably don't even need to tell the students that, but it's an experiment to do with felt tip pens, and we're going to look at the, the solubility of different, um, of different inks. So all you need for this experiment is um, a, a few packs of colored felt tip pens, um, some sellotape and some plastic cups, um, and some uh, filter paper. Now if you can't get filter paper, um, if you don't have a lab technician, um, coffee filters work perfectly fine. So just get some um, coffee filters from, from the supermarket. Cut the coffee filters into, into strips, and each student will need one of these strips, um, a felt tip pen, and a little bit of sellotape. So the first thing they need to do is take their felt tip pen and draw a, a line across the bottom of their, their filter paper strip. Um, now don't draw the line right at the bottom, leave, a, leave about a centimetre or two centimetres at the bottom of the strip and draw the line across just a little bit up from the bottom. So the next thing they need to do is just tape their strip to the pen itself so that it can be suspended so that they can hang it down into a plastic cup. Now you're going to add just enough water into the plastic cup so that the water touches the bottom of the strip without actually submerging the line completely. Now that's really important because if the line gets submerged completely, it'll just leach out, it'll dissolve into the water, and you won't really get a, you won't get any kind of proper result at all. But if you can hang the strip so that the bottom of the strip touches the water, but that the line isn't submerged, water will start to get drawn up the strip by a process called capillary action. Again, not really too important for, for this. But as water moves up the strip, the ink in the line that they've drawn will dissolve into the water and it'll be drawn up with the water. So it'll start to travel up the strip. Now what you can do is, is you know, let students have a go with, with each, each student or each group can have a different colored pen and they can all have a go just to see how it works. And then you can run it as a bit of a race. So each student, you know, you do it a second time, everyone gets ready and then you say three, two, one, go and they pop it in the water. And then after about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes at the most, you yell out stop and you see how far they've traveled up the, the paper strip. Now if you want to be accurate about it, get students to, before they pop it in, get them to mark the starting point, so draw a line where they, just underneath or, or right on the same position as their, their starting line, as the felt tip line, um, but get them to draw another line in pencil. Pencil isn't soluble, it doesn't dissolve, so it will it'll stay in that position, it won't actually move up the, the strip of filter paper. So then you can measure how far it's moved, and you, you can, like I said, you can run that as a little bit of a race, and you know you can have a wee prize for the for the group that travels the first, the 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 group that had the the color that travelled the furthest or the or the fastest in that given time. And so that's that's a good point for discussion. Some colors will move more quickly than others, and the reason for that is some of these these inks are more soluble than others. So as the water gets drawn up the strip. Some of the, the ink in that line that they've drawn dissolves into the water, and as it dissolves into the water, it gets drawn up with the water and it travels up the strip. So those inks, or those colours that dissolve more easily, will travel further up the strip, um, whereas those that are less soluble won't travel up um, as quickly at all. And you can try actually a permanent marker. If you try a permanent marker, you'll find that it barely moves at all, because essentially the, the ink is insoluble, it doesn't dissolve in water. So get them to, to race the different colours, and then you can also pull out a few, and you'll notice that some pens um, actually you know, produce a, a really impressive or really interesting pattern, because they're actually a mixture of colours. So a lot of blue and green pens actually have a mixture often of yellow and, and blue or cyan, kind of that, that turquoise colour pigments. And so when you run them, when they run up the strip, the colours actually separate because some of the colours are travelling more quickly than others. And they'll actually separate out and you'll get you know, a pattern where, um, with distinct bands. And you can, you can do this experiment actually with food colouring too, and you dip a, a toothpick in the food colouring, I find it a little bit more messy, but you can dip a toothpick into food colouring and put a little dot on a strip as well. Um, and with that you can actually use a mixture of different colours, and when you put them on the filter paper, when you put the mixture on a filter paper, it should actually separate uh, the colours out when you run it along the strip. You could do it with felt tip pens too, you know, you could take two colours, 
um, and draw a line, you know, one, one over the top of each other. And then when you run it up the strip, they should separate out. The one that, that's more soluble should move further or faster than one that's slightly less soluble.